here taking look at simplifying a product of radical expressions using the distributive property. Remember the distributive property? That's our FOIL method. First, outer, inner, last. What's that look like? Let's do this example. So we've got 1 plus 3 radical 6 times 4 radical 10 minus 2. Okay, so let's go with red for our first. Our F, our first, means we multiply the first two terms together. Okay, what do we get when we multiply 1 times 4 radical 10? Well, that's 4 radical 10. Okay, let's look at our outer. Our outer means that we're going to multiply the outermost. This is our outer. So the outermost terms, 1 times negative 2, that gives a negative 2. Then our inner means we do the inner ones, the ones that are closest together in the middle of the parentheses. That's our inner. And what do we get when we multiply 3 radical 6 times 4 radical 10? Well, remember, we multiply the numbers outside and keep them outside. We multiply the numbers inside the radicand and keep them inside. So 3 times 4 is going to be, that's going to be a plus. 3 times 4 is 12. And radical 6 times radical 10 is radical 60. Okay, one last bit. Last, we look at the last terms of these. And we multiply. In this case, it's 3 radical 6 times a negative 2. So that makes a negative 6 radical 6. Okay, so there's our first step in this multi-step problem here. Second step, so let me, let me write that down for you. First, FOIL. Second, simplify the radicals. Oops. Okay, so next, let's simplify these radicals. Radical 10, does that simplify? Are there any perfect square numbers that go into 10? 4, no. 9, no, no. So that doesn't simplify. What about 60? 4, we'll go into that 15 times, right? So if we, we, we do that, the 4 radical 10 stays, the minus 2 stays, and then we're going to get Radical 60, that's the same thing as radical 4 times radical 15. Radical 4 becomes 2. So this 12 gets multiplied by that 2. So we end up with 24 radical 15. And then we check, does 6 simplify? Uh, does radical 6 simplify? No, it does not. So we subtract, so that's minus 6, radical 6. And then the third step is to combine any like terms. Okay, so here's a radical 10. Do we have any other radical 10s? No. Here's a whole number, negative 2. Do we have any just whole numbers? No. Do we have any other radical 15s? Nope. And any other radical 6s? Nope. So this one comes out to be quite a long answer, but that is the answer right there. One more example. Let's take a look. So again, we've got this problem. We've got to FOIL it. We've got to simplify the radicals. And the step three is to combine like terms. FOIL. First, we get 25 radical 50. Outer is a negative 5 radical 5. The inner, that's going to be a negative 15 
radical 10. And then the last is going to be a positive 3 because it's a negative 3 times a negative 1, positive 3. Okay, I know that 50 is radical 50 is the same as radical 25 times radical 2, which would be 5 radical 2 times that 25. That makes 125 radical 2 minus 5 radical 5. That doesn't simplify. Radical 10 doesn't simplify, so it stays minus 15 radical 10 and then plus 3. Okay, any com any like terms, anything that can combine? Nope. There's our answer.